so let's start with task 1.2 uh, task 1.2 says consider what happens when a student leaves the class and their data item is deleted from the array decide on a way of identifying unused array elements and only output elements that contain student details modify your program to include this so what we are going to do is now we have a purpose of creating some rogue value for declaring or initializing our array so just let's go to the program let's start writing the program okay so this is task so task 1.2 so you can find the code on the link which i have given in the details so you just click on the link and you will be redirected to where you can find an image of the code so you can just copy from there or you can use that as a reference so the code that i'm writing here is different from uh, the final version that i'm going to put up i'm going to make some fine tunings in that so again what we're going to do is again uh, we'll create a variable told students this is again going to be integer input same as before if you have not seen the video for uh, task 1.1 please go through that so you can understand what i'm doing in these steps so this time instead of creating the students array with a blank initializing value i'm going to create some rogue value so this rogue value is going to be static so wherever we find static within any of the indexes of students this represents that this is a blank array or blank element of the array so initial value all of these initial values needs to be static so because since we have not entered any of the details within this array now i'm going to change the input loop from for to while so for that i'm going to initialize this i as zero and i'm going to create one more variable called choice so this value choice is going to be initially y because we are going to enter at least one value within the array and then we are going to ask the user if he wants to add, add more values in the array so this is going to be a while loop while choice is equals to y so this loop will run until the value for choice is y uh, if someone else uh, someone uses uh, changes the value for choice to something else this loop will end so the first value that we are going to take input is going to be name enter student name and after that we are going to take email input from the user enter student email after this we are going to again create record as we did in the previous example uh, in the previous task so this is going to have an hash in between concatenate with email and then i'm going to store this value in the index i of the array as we did in task 1.1 so the change that is going to happen here is that i'm going to increase the value for i since we are not using for loop it's not going to increment on its own so i'm going to add one after doing the whole process and then i'm going to ask the user for its choice so the user let me ask the user enter y to add more students okay also this well so this is going to be uh, this is going to add more values for as many times as a user like and then i'm going to output as before so i know the total number of students okay uh i do not need to print the values which have static in them if it has a static i don't need, i don't need to output that value so 
if students i so this i is going to be the index at which we are looking at is not equal to static if it's equal to static let it be leave it if it's not equal to static then we are going to do the whole process as we did as we did before so students this is exactly the same thing that we did in task 1.1 if you do not again if you do not know sorry break uh, index if you do not know about task 1.1 go to my uh, youtube channel and just see where 1.1 is student sorry a record dot find again this is going to break at the value hash name is going to be equal to record till the break index and then email is going to break from the break index plus one till the end of the record and then i'm going to print these values so name is going to be this sorry name and then i'm going to print the email which is going to be here okay let me just run this okay before running it let me just comment all the variables that i've used total students is an integer value i is also an integer value and break index is also an integer value integer hash students is 1d array of string because we are storing value string values within this array and then uh, we have name email record as string i believe there oh yeah there is choice here as well so choice is also going to be a string value i believe there is no other um variables that i use so all the variables i have defined are here okay so let me run this once and see how it runs and the total number of students i have 10 students in class i'm going to enter the name of the first student the email of the first student and let me add one, one more so why ali and ali's email address is ali at the red mail.com and i do not want to add any other students so see so since i've added just two students the rest of the values are the 10 indexes the rest of the indexes from two were left as static and this line over here did not let it print or didn't let it do anything at all this since it found that it only has value static so it only printed just two uh, values that i stored so this is end of task 1.1